Question four then from the 2016 Advanced Tire Maths. There we go, the wee Gaussian elimination. Four marks. Use Gaussian elimination to find the value of lambda, which leads to redundancy. Now, redundancy simply means one of these is a linear combination of the other two, so that when you start to reduce it, you should find that you get a repetition of the same row. Well, first of all, just set it out into the augmented matrix. That's one, two, three, three. Two, negative one, four, five. One, negative three, but that is two lambda, two. Then operate on it the usual way. Let's get both of those down to zeros. So leaving this one alone, because it's quite nice with its one. For this one, if we take row two and subtract two lots of row one, because that's an abbreviation, it should really be. That becomes row two. So I'll have two take away two is zero. Negative one take away four is negative five. Four take away six is negative two. Five take away six is one. Negative one even, if we want to get it right. This one's easier. Row three minus row one. One take away one, zero. Negative three take away two, negative five. Two lambda minus three. Two lambda minus three. Two take away three, negative one. Now at this point you notice those two rows would be the same if they were the same. And I would say that as far as the question is concerned, it would be sufficient to state that this system will have redundancy if row 2 equals row 3 because it's virtually the same depending on the value of lambda. So I'm going to just make that statement. Instead of taking it down one further step, I'm simply going to say we've got a redundant, redundant, if row 2 equals row 3 because then effectively you've only got two equations and three variables which means that it'll be redundant if 2 lambda minus 3 is equal to negative 2, if 2 lambda equals 1, or if lambda equals a half. I think that should be sufficient. If lambda is a half, these two rows would be the same, and that's the condition for redundancy.